Well, now to a young man with incredible willpower. After a terrible accident, he was told he would never walk again, something the young thrill seeker thought he couldn't live with. But he found it wasn't in his nature to quit, and now he's defied the odds and the doctors. Claire Brady reports. It's not for the faint-hearted. For Josh Wood, pushing the limits made him feel alive. I got too greedy, I wanted to end the trip. <laughs> Competing internationally, 18 and indestructible. So he thought. You know, there wasn't really any room for error with this. As soon as I left the jump, I knew I'd, I'd made a huge mistake. I knew it was all going wrong. The split-second mistake changed my whole life. That's when I heard the explosion of the bone snap in it, and I was twisted up like a pretzel. I just thought he wasn't that badly injured. What I didn't realise was I thought he was going to die. This is my boy. I basically landed on this bone here, which is C7, and my whole body completely turned inside like that, where the back of my pelvis and knees hit the road as well. And then when I bounced off the road, I came back up and my whole body twisted the opposite way and then my back of my head hit between my back. For Josh, the medical world seemed a bottomless pit. Doctor came in and he goes, you've done your ultimate goal, you'll never walk, you'll never walk, you'll never walk. And the doctor goes, no, he's so badly injured and his spinal cord's crushed, he'll probably never get out of bed again. So then I said to Mum, I need you to help kill me. You asked your mum to kill you? I would have done it in a heartbeat. I was terrified. And I said, Josh, I don't know what we're going to do, but I can promise you, you'll walk. He had zero hope, but he had his mum, Kay Ledson. She shouldered the load, and together they dreamed for the impossible. Just one step. Four months later, he walked out of hospital. He turned his back on the painkillers, the medication. The only drug he had was pure grit and by the bucket lot. This dark structure is the spinal cord and in a normal spinal cord it should stay that same width all the way through this area. And what's happened with Josh is that you can see here it disappears to almost nothing. Chiropractor Simon Floriani did his bit but remains dumbfounded. He's an absolute miracle. Clinically, it just doesn't add up. You just never stop seeing in clinical practice the power of the body to heal. A Melbourne quadriplegic is trying to raise $22,000 to fund an unconventional six-week physiotherapy program. Break away from the normal routine. Let's get to the place where we want to be. Josh sailed his dream across the Pacific to the United States to Project Walk in California. When he left, he was on the cusp of running. In the wings emerged a mentor, a crusty demon. Going 80 kilometres an hour, Madison launched onto a 30 metre replica of the Arc de Triomphe. That was an absolutely perfect landing for Robbie Madison. Josh is a, a great example of what can go wrong, but also a, a great example of, of a fighter and, and someone that's coming back. Come on, little boy! Robbie Madison urged Josh to defy gravity and reach for the sky. Within months, this quadriplegic who was given no hope was now airborne. A lot of people give up at that point, you know, think, oh, I've got the short, I drew the short straw, it's all over. And to see Josh be like, not giving up is something very powerful. And it's Amelia Allen who keeps this miracle man grounded when he comes back to work. Were you worried when Josh first tried this? I can't worry about Josh because if I worried about everything he did, I'd be a nervous wreck. From what he was to what he is now, someone who'd never be able to get out of bed, move his arms or legs, scratch his nose. To do this is just... Even the smallest achievements don't go unnoticed. It makes you more grateful for what you've got. 
I mean, I can stand up now and not think about it, where Josh, he has to think about it. And what he didn't have to think about was this on his 30th birthday. I want to ask Amelia. <laughs> We all have excuses why we don't do things. For Josh, there are none. Losing the use of his body gave him more reasons to live, to prove the doctors wrong. I, I cry happy tears, you know, and I'm so proud of him. I actually think this accident was meant to happen, sadly, for him, but it's made him into this amazing person and he will change people's lives. And with his Kelly Slater good looks and trademark smile, we can only stay tuned to what Josh Wood does next. Claire Brady with that inspirational story. And if you'd like to find out more about the incredible Josh Wood, he's written a blog on our website, yahoo7.com.au forward slash today tonight.